Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation. Yeah, yeah. The, to be good at anything, you have to you have to study. You know, we study for the genre. Of course, we know this left hook is one of the things that you like to do, right? So quite naturally, I'm gonna give it to him. Let him have what he wants. You want your left hook? I'm gonna go right to. So he's been knocked out before. You think you can knock him out? Yeah. I feel as though anyone can get knocked out when you got on eight ounce gloves. Dante's Box Nation. What's going on, guys? First things first. Congratulations to Mister. Gary Russell put on a very impressive performance and what's so funny is even though Gary Russell was the favorite to win this fight a lot of people are still looking at this as somewhat of an upset because when I was with the media and I was interviewing Gary Russell there was some people in the media basically asking Gary Russell they said Gary are you surprised that you're the favorite in this fight and I was hearing a lot of other people say that before we were interviewing Gary Russell. They all kept saying, I can't believe that Gary Russell is the favorite in this fight. So that alone tells you that this was a big win for Gary Russell. Because according to these type of fans, they felt Gonzalez should have been the favorite. So that kind of eliminates the excuses, the pre, well, I won't even say prefabricated because there were no prefabricated excuses. The majority of people, they thought that Gonzalez should have been a favorite because they believed that he would most likely win this fight. He, you know, he is the champion. He is the guy that knocked out the undefeated Abner Marez, right? So there shouldn't be any excuses if Gary Russell pulls off the somewhat upset, right? But that's not the case because some of the same people that were saying they were shocked that Gary Russell was the favorite right after the fight they had already started to make excuses why Gary Russell won the fight welcome to the coincidental list Gary Russell you know this whole scenario the you know the fight Gary Russell knocking out the champion Johnny Gonzalez it reminds me of Nonito Donaire versus Fernando Montiel and the reason why I say that is because, you know, Fernando Montiel and Johnny Gonzalez, they have a lot in common as opponents. Just like Fernando Montiel, Johnny Gonzalez, he had somewhat of a checkered career, right? Where basically he's been on a roller coaster. One minute he's down, next minute he's up. He's been, you know, Fernando and Johnny, they've both been knocked out in previous fights before and came back resurrected their career this is what we've seen in this fight Johnny Gonzalez he resurrected his career you know he was brought into the Abner Morris fight as just an opponent he was supposed to be past his prime but then all of a sudden he knocks out the undefeated Abner Morris in the first round and his career is resurrected and because of that win at the same time Gary Russell is losing to Vasil Lomachenko now, all of a sudden, this fight is a lot more competitive, which explains why a lot of people were picking Johnny Gonzalez to win this fight. Now, and I said last week on my radio show, or this week on my radio show, if the undefeated Gary Russell shows up, he wins this fight easy, in my opinion. And, well, guys, that was the undefeated Gary Russell. That was the undefeated Gary Russell. So he gets a very impressive fourth round knockout over Johnny Gonzalez. Like I said, this fight in the whole situation was very reminiscent of the Donair versus Montiel fight. The exact same type of opponent and the opponent gets knocked out pretty much in the same type fashion. The only difference is when Nonito Donaire did it, Jim Lampley and the gang, they were jumping up and down like they had just won the lottery, right? It'll be interesting to see if Jim Lampley shares that same type of enthusiasm
for Gary Russell Jr. getting pretty much the exact same type of knockout win that Nonito Donaire got over Fernando Montiel. But we know that's not going to happen. Once again, welcome to the coincidentalist, Gary Russell, and congratulations to Gary Russell Jr. for putting on a superhero performance. He looked like Flash mixed with the Matrix. Right? So we'll see what happens in the future. Gary Russell, he already said before this fight, I interviewed him, he said that he wants Gonzalez, and then after that, he wants Abner Mares. So that would be another intriguing fight. And Abner Mares, he just tweeted something out saying he heard that Gary Russell wants him and he's willing to make the fight. Let's see if it happens. I'll be talking a lot more about this fight, but that's all I got for now. I'm on to the next one.